Thank you for joining us for today's webinar, Metrics Calculated Price, an Evaluation Tool for Professional Traders. This is Betty Smith. I'm Vice President of Communications here at CQG. And joining me today is our presenter, Jim Marzano, founder and CEO of Metrics, LLC. Welcome, Jim. Thank you. Jim founded Metrics in 2009 as a venture and a strategic solution to evaluate traded derivative instruments. Jim's a futures industry veteran. He was a member of the Chicago Board of Trade and the Chicago Mercantile Exchange for 24 years. So Jim, with that brief introduction, I will hand the presentation off to you. Thank you, Betty. Uh, as they say, brevity is clarity, so uh, the briefer the better. Let me move right into uh, metrics. Can you move that slide? Oops. Excuse me just a second. There we are. Let me give you a brief overview of metrics and why we founded it. It, uh, it occurred to me after a lot of years in the marketplace that traders lack decision support tools and information. And think of decision support as the why you make a trade and what you make a trade with could have been trading cards in my day and is now electronic devices. So trying to understand what the market is doing while you're trading has always been a process of trying to understand intrinsic value and understand market direction and understand certainly what other traders are doing. So that is the underpinning of metrics, and traders use it to evaluate the market internals we look at the world in two different ways. One is the direction of the market overall, or what some people call flat price movement. And in terms of spreads, which are extensive given the amount of different products we trade in the large world in which we trade them. So again, anything directional, and that's what we're gonna focus on today, which is our metrics calculated price to understand market direction. And then at future times, and certainly at metrics.com, we can explain more about how we look at differentials, where our focus is the U.S. yield curve, uh, term structure of any commodity, uh, and intermarket, which is, uh, again, in the yield curve, quite, quite important, and in other markets where trades such as the crush or the crack are quite popular. The important point we want to note is that in all the differential trading and calculations we've developed, we have integrated these into CQG studies in the form of Q formulas, which allows you to quote uh, our analytics and values, chart them, and certainly use them in your trading in a very direct way. Uh, we provide a lot of pre-trade analysis uh, on over 300 listed futures. In the future, financial futures, we provide a variety of spread ratios, uh, very important information such as the dollar value of basis point, yield to price, price to yield, internal rates of return, et cetera, all of which are designed to help you quickly and hopefully intuitively get a better understanding of what the market is doing. And then lastly, I'm going to spend a few minutes at the end of the presentation on Metrics Community, which is our social business platform to enable traders to collaborate and connect with other traders, with their service providers, with advisors, and literally anyone they choose. Metrics Community unites the uh, potential value that has being realized in social media with the uh, marketplace uh, such that we are a very focused silo using social media techniques but to talk specifically to about uh, about the markets and to allow professional traders to interact with each other the why we've done this uh, and why this is important to a trader is I think first and foremost in this day and age that we are a very cost-effective add-on for CQG users. Some people said we had kind of a turbocharger with high touch functionality and the support services that allow a trader to really streamline his analysis and research. We point out the fact that our emphasis is on financial instruments, things like cash futures, bond basis, and the yield curve, which is important not only to financial instruments traders, however, given the volume, almost two thirds of traders do trade some financial instruments, but also to serve as understanding the underpinning of markets, which are basically some expression of money over time in a commodity or in a financial instrument. 
And then lastly, we will calculate contango and backwardation, the standard cash and carry analysis in the marketplace. And these are key requirements to understanding spreads and how the cost of money affects both the current and future price of a, of a commodity, whether it is a physical commodity or it is a non-physical, like a financial instrument. Uh, I just pointed up a quick slide on our metrics calculated price. Some of you may have seen this if you've gone to metrics.com. But I just wanted to point this out to give you a sense as we go forward that metrics calculation price as depicted in this screenshot provides both a graphical representation of the markets, and if you look at those three different colored peaks to the right, there's a stripe, there's a kind of yellow, and then an aqua color. Those are the last three days of trading, and the peaks are representing the high TPO or what becomes the fair value of those markets. I'll come back to this later, but I wanted to show you where we're going with metrics calculated price and also mention that all of the tabular values, in other words, what are the numbers underlying that graph, are available uh, to our users. So let's go into what is metrics calculated price. It's a suite of proprietary calculation in which we are trying to establish market value. Uh, market status takes metrics market calculated prices and gives you a context which you're very familiar with. That would be fair value, fair value high and low on the day for that particular item. We do present the initial balance. And again, the uh, fair value that we present will be available at metrics.com. And the spread values and differentials we provide are available as integrated functions to anyone that has CQG's integrated client. So what's the value proposition of looking at the market in this way? Well, we, we very much support Pete Stottlemyre's work in terms of the looking at the concept of where a market trades in terms of price and the distribution of that price, which creates a first history uh, histogram, sorry, uh, is a very intuitive way to understand what the market's doing. Uh, market profile is an excellent tool, and we believe we've taken some of the concept, again, of the frequency histogram, but we've added some very, very specific pieces that make market uh, metrics calculated price a unique way to look at the market. Fair price dependency is then the highest accumulation of frequency of price at, at a given point in the marketplace. Uh, this is an important point that, in so many words, is also the same way of looking at that as a support or resistance point. Many traders look also then at the slope of these distributions to understand volatility, understand where the market is accepting or rejecting price, and again, get their own sense of the market's uh, relative strength, weakness, and direction. TPO, or that price occurred, then is the standard way that we develop a metrics calculated price. And we create, unlike market profile, a one minute bar of TPO. We optimize the data that comes in you know, into a one minute bar. And we believe that that's not only a, a better way for traders to look at any specific time frame. We believe, too, that the ability to take one-minute bars and extend them into 5, 10, 15, 30-minute bars, etc., allows the trader to use our metrics calculated price in his time frame approach, which also is a great way uh, and well-accepted way to filter out the noise in the marketplace. Let me expand just a little bit, then, as to how we uh, provide metrics calculated price. We take our algorithms and other considerations, and we are basically analyzing every tick in the market as it comes through. Currently, we provide metrics calculated prices on over 300 exchange traded items. So I will demonstrate that in a few minutes. But just think of this as a way to go to any market you're interested in following and seeing what these statistics would be in real time. Statistics, again, being TPO high, TPO low, fair value, and initial balance. Most importantly, our time series calculations accumulate this data into fundamental and optimized increments. And again, those are available at metrics.com. 
and we've made delayed versions of market uh, status available at ourmetricscommunity.com, which allows people on a delayed basis to also take and get a very intuitive look and feel for what the marketplace is doing. And then lastly, as I had mentioned, we allow this one-minute bar and provide all the tools for aggregation into multiple time frames, which allows you, the trader, to adjust these to fit your own particular requirements. And then lastly, uh, again, we want to talk about Metrics Community, which is a complementary service that we provide to allow traders to interact with each other, to uh, create blogs, to listen to discussions such as this. In other words, most of the benefits you would find in other social media outlets, but with the very specific differentiation point that other professional traders talking about the markets and using our metrics data as the common language uh, is what you will find and uh, provides both a secure and, again, very focused site. Uh, you can also meet other traders in real time. We have full chat capability and look at our metrics calculated prices across multiple markets. Uh, again, that is done on a delayed basis so we can provide broader uh, distribution of our services. And then lastly, the next level of uh, our community is a for pay service, which also allows you then to share documents, to invite people uh, to your group to share documents, and also to take Mr. Chocolate Price and other services we provide to the next level. I'd like to give you a quick look at, then at real time in metrics calculated price. You'll note at the top of this page, we term this market physics. And what we do in the approach using the term physics is we also provide values such as velocity, acceleration, and momentum. Uh, what this allows traders to do is really take the physics values, which again, hope you're intuitive, that markets have their own velocity. Do me to restart now? Well, here is metrics calculated price in real time. Um, I just simply went to metrics.com. You'll note at the top of this page that we term, term this page market physics because we use physics values as well as the TPO and other uh, values I mentioned to also help understand some of the other dynamics in the marketplace. When you hover on any of these items, you'll get a quick uh, explanation of what velocity in this case is about, acceleration, momentum, and energy. And these values, again, are meant to be uh, supportive in terms of your understanding of the market and what's going on from the standpoint of those particular terms. So it uh, intuitively makes sense that Markets have velocity, that they accelerate and decelerate, that you look at momentum in different ways other than uh, what people use, let's say, in a standard momentum breakout analysis. So again, think of metrics calculated price as a fast, easy way to see what's going on in any market. Think, too, very importantly, that this information is pushed to you. It's there. You can change literally any component that you'd like. As you see here, for instance, I'm looking at a 15-minute segment, but I can easily look at a five-minute segment and refresh the data. And then as I move the cursor over, I'll notice, too, that the statistics about this market change for that particular time frame. I'd like to just spend a minute going through this information on the right. Again, physics values or more clearly math values of what is the mean in the market, the next TPO price, so you have that number, standard deviation. And then the next two are very important items, skew and kurtosis, which simply relate to the relative peakedness or non-peakedness, if that's a good term, of a marketplace uh, press distribution. So as I look at this distribution from three days ago, I have some pretty interesting peaks. And two days ago and one day ago. And what looked to me like what's been happening is that if I consolidated this area that I'm circling, then the you had high TPOs around the 632 level in wheat uh, and the 643 level in wheat, or 42. So that dime difference 
and today's trading tried to push through it earlier this morning, and now looks to me like it's trying to come back to the midpoint. Again, a very simple way to try and understand is the market trying to find support at this level? Does the market find resistance by trying to push up through here and then given the, the red uh, line is the current price? And then lastly, with metrics calculated price, we provide all of the TPO statistics, the volume, and these are available to uh, any metrics subscriber via, again, CQD subscription given that all the data is real time. I might make one quick note too that one of the benefits of metrics is the fact that we uh, leverage your investment in your CQG system uh, simply because this is all integrated in your integrated client program and uses the data you're already paying for from the exchanges. So it's a very cost effective way to add another uh, extremely wide breadth of information for the information you're already paying through your CQG. Let me then move over and, and conclude with a quick look at Metrics Community. And again, Metrics Community is a social business platform, and if you look at some of the items across the top, your stuff, uh, you'll see where we've got blog posts, you can form a discussion, documents, groups, friends, notifications, etc. And I again want to reiterate that Metrics Community is a professional site. We do not take advertising. We do not uh, allow resumes or job hunting kind of activities. Um, this is basically all about and for the marketplace. You'll also note in the spaces to the left that we have several uh, industry uh, participants that join metrics as what we call a pro partner, which allows you to reach them quickly and more critically allows them to reach you. So it uh, facilitates your relationship by shortening the distance between you and the provider, you and another trader, or again, anyone else that uh, would you would want to allow into your group. And then lastly, and to conclude, we've added uh, Market Status Pro, which takes the metrics calculated price data. Again, you pick a commodity. Um, I was showing wheat, so let's take a look at agriculture. These have been set up uh, out of the sector bin. You can add or subtract from these. But here is all the information that uh, I showed this morning in metrics calculated price on real real time basis. And I'm back to the wheat market here and I can see that it's trading below fair value. And that is just, again, a very quick way to understand where the market is. So the last price, just to get you, again, make sure we've synced up with the market, the fair price, fair minus last. So fair price of 660, for instance, is corn. We're now seven cents beneath that. This is where the market opened, took a big run at 660, low of that, and now seems to have settled back in the mid-range. So we calculate through metric calculated price to value area high and low. So as I dig in as a trader and I open this line up, it just seems to me that we're a little close to the low of the day, but I can also see what we've tried to set up in terms of where was the initial balance this morning, both high and low. And then these last three columns are being populated and are very important to, uh, not only to traders, but the fact that the uh, institutional traders, not that there are any on the call today, uh, generally measured and measure the markets by a term called VWAP or volume weighted average price. This statistic is generated such that uh, traders can understand their execution for a given period of time relative to the volume weighted average price and give them a way to say, well, did I get good execution or bad execution? And then we're adding other statistics so that the implied volatility of each particular market is there, again, for quick reference. And then percentage would be the percentage change on the day. Uh, so again, a, a, not only a very intuitive way to look at the market, this information is all pushed. And again, at Metrics Community, uh, Market Status Pro and a lot of other features are available. So we've tried to provide ways for traders to uh, understand what's going on in a fairly short period of time, connect with each other, and then use our extensive contact 
contents for decision support of their own trading. I'll wrap up with there, and I thank you all for your time. I invite you to come to metrics.com and certainly come to cqg.com, and uh, I'm more than happy to answer any questions that you might have. Thank you again. Thank you so much, Jim, for that excellent overview of Metrics Calculated Price as an evaluation tool, as well as an introduction to the Metrics community, your social business platform. Did you want to mention the special offer that you have for a free trial? Yes, I'd be happy to. For, for anyone that logs into Metrics community and signs on between now and April 1st, we have an iPad waiting for uh, uh, that will be raffled off to just that group between now and April 1st. So good opportunity to win an iPad. All right, fantastic. Once again, this is Betty Smith, Vice President of Communications at CQG. I was joined today by Jim Marzano from Metrics LLC. Thanks again, Jim. Betty, thank you, and thank everybody at CQG.